Hi guys, so welcome back. Now we are on one of the smallest parts of my eyeshadow collection, so this video is literally only going to be a few minutes long. So this is continuing the series of this is the makeup in my collection and I'm satisfied and I just have no desire to buy anything else. Um, so next we're going to go through the eye primers that I have. Um, I'm going to start with one that goes kind of back and forth between eye primer, but it's technically a color corrector. And I wish I had put it in my color corrector video because of that, but I just wasn't thinking about it. And now that I'm actually having that go through my mind, it's just that I've used this for eye primer for so long, but now I'm having the reminder in my brain that when I got this, the reason that I got this is because this is what they uh, offered me because I wanted to do under eye brightening for the dullness that was under my eyes. So it's like a lavender shade, but it's so light that it also can double as an eye primer. And this is by Merle Norman and it's just called Cover Up in the shade Lavender. I remember when I got this, it was like 20 bucks. And honestly, I don't even know how long ago I got this, but just that it's there's nothing wrong with it so i i'm still using it but as you can see so it's like a lavender brightener but um i you, as you can see it is very nice for like pastels and whites and things that i really eyeshadows that i really want to pop uh, especially if they're cool toned i will use this because as you can see that is incredibly bright i do have not any idea if this is even sold anymore and of all the time that I have had this I think I've literally only gone through about half of the two it's because I haven't used it that much <laughs> um, the next one is technically not an eye primer so we will do it next um, however this is an incredibly important uh, item because this is what I secure all of my glitters on my eyes with. Now, I would like to buy a backup of this. This one is brand new. I just bought it in July, uh, at the end of July. So literally, maybe in the beginning of just sometime in July. But literally, this one is only $6.50, and it's such a good glitter uh, primer that it's the only one I use. I'm in love with it. And it's a lot. You get 10 milliliters, which is 0.33 flu. Uh, fluid dances, but because it's sticky, it really goes far. Um, but this is just my favorite on the market. I wouldn't mind trying the Glimmer Grasp by Unearthly, though. Um, I got mine at Ulta. Next is the Milani eyeshadow primer. This one, when I purchased it, it was still $5. I got this one at the drugstore, and I have the shade 01 Nude. I don't know if they have other ones, and I also know that it's eight dollars now um again i feel that for the drugstore this is a very nice eye primer i use this one when i'm doing neutral looks or natural colored shadows i think this one is just absolutely perfect for blanking out my eye to nude and if i'm not doing something super bright and like i said like neutrals i grab this one here and it just nicely blanks out and makes my eyelid look even and not red or anything, which I don't have a lot of that. I have to use an eye primer because I have very oily eyelids and if I don't, it will crease on me and it comes off early. So I have to use an eye primer. Um, it's been so many years since I have not. Uh, like I said, okay, so I mentioned the price on that one. My most recent one in my collection is the one from e.l.f., the Lock It Down eyeshadow primer. The first couple times I used this, I used too much, and if you use too much, it makes it will make your eye, like, it made my eye, like, stick together, and it made it so that the eyeshadow skipped, but after I did not just over, as long as you don't put too much on, you won't have that issue. Um, again, I feel like it nicely blinks out your eye and it does also make your shadows look more, uh, they, it, they're more vibrant when you use this one. And this one's only $7. Uh, right before the elf one, I was in a Marshalls for the very first time and I'd seen 
like my favorite YouTuber and many other people use the Milk Makeup uh, Hydro Grip Eye Primer. And this one is only, what is this one? This one's 0.29 fluid ounces, and it's normally $25, but I picked mine up at Marshall's for $8.99. Now, when I first got this one, I absolutely hated it, and I did not like it. I just, I absolutely hated it, because I almost felt like this, like it felt like silicone -y to me, and it didn't blank anything out, and I felt like you could, that my, I still felt like wet. And then when I was dipping into my mats, I felt like it was uh, definitely like getting them wet and I was worried that it would hard pan them. So I don't like this really coating my brushes too much and then going into my eyeshadow. That I have a fear that that could hard pan some of my shadows. I don't know if it will. I don't know if what even this is could cause that, but I have that worry from it. Um, the one that was my favorite, um, and is probably my favorite of all time is the Juvia's Place Eye Primer in the shade number one. Theirs goes for $12. However, they have some very terrible packaging and a lot of their packaging can break down very easily anyway. So with my Juvia's Place one, this little part here ripped off of the package and so it was completely worthless at that point it would have dried out so I put it in a baggie until I found this little bottle and then I just squeezed it all into here and then I can either just dip in with like a concealer brush um, but here's the leftover the thing is is that this stuff works so first off you this is enough for like four eyes I'm gonna tell you this stuff is so potent and gets the job done, I can imagine that it would last for probably like five, six years, that little teeny tiny container for $12. Juvia's has an amazing price. And as you can see how bright this one is, this one will make your shadows pop. It's great if you need to do that like concealer uh, because you need to do a cut crease or something. And it is really nice to just coat up your eye and so that you your shadows just really look true to the color that they are in the pan. So this one for $12, I just wish the Juvia's would work on their packaging. Um, but look at that. And you saw what a tiny little dot that was. Okay. Now you do need to be aware of how far you're bringing it out because I usually blow out my eyeshadow pretty far. So, um, but you do want to make sure that you're not going to take this one up too high if the shadow's not going to cover it because then this is going to show on the ends. You're going to have to go over a little bit with like a nude type shadow or something so that you don't end up with a harsh white line. So you do need to be careful of that. My last one is my oldest one. And this one was in a palette that my ex had broken. And uh, he, so this one was is just the little thing. I just don't have any palettes, so I have it in a, another little container. This is just like a creamy one by Mally. And this one is such a beautiful formula. Again, it just blanks out the eye and this the shadows go so smoothly over this one. And it's just very elegant and sophisticated. There are some products by Mally that I really enjoyed. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with her brand, but look at how soft and flat that made my hand. It's a really, really beautiful one. In fact, I need to remind myself, I, I mean, I've even hit pan in this one. Um, I would like to finish this one off before it's like gone for good, but I do have a lot of eye primer. So, you know, honestly, this and this, I really should kind of leave on the sidelines for a while. I should probably, and this, I, you know, I'm probably gonna have to throw that one out before I get another one. That's brand new, but I, that's for a different purpose. I really should concentrate on these two since they're in this form and I'm going to be needing to buy new containers for them. But that is my very tiny but mighty eye primer collection. It gives me everything I need. This one, like I said, is great for putting down pastels and light shades. Again, this one also, same thing with the e.l.f. And then I've still got these other, you know, more unique ones that are closer to the skin color or going to give no coverage. So 
I feel like I have a good balance and that there's nothing else that I need to use. I have enough eye primer here for a decade and I will have to throw it out way, way, way before a decade. Like way before five years, four years. I've got plenty of eye primer. How could I need more? And it does the job. Every one of these gets the job done in a beautiful way. So that's my eye primer collection.